Speaking of out of control, this is this is one to hit close to home. Because I watched this guy. I've watched a lot of this guy. I mean, I watched a lot of his videos, enjoyed a lot of his videos. His content influenced my content. Like, this is someone who made me want to do this. So this hurt. But Cody Ko. Yes, that Cody Ko. Speaking of Love Island, that's because someone who is, you know, Cody is also a big Love Island guy. Cody Ko has fallen into some very, 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 very hot water. Uh, so, if you know who Cody Ko is, you, I'm sure you know who Tana Mongu is. But for those who don't know, Cody Ko is a YouTuber. Um, his content's kind of hard to nail down. Uh, he's kind of in a similar space as me. Uh, he's a reactor. You know, he watches stuff and kind of reacts with it with his best friend Noel. They have a podcast together. Um, they've made spoof parody songs, which are bangers. They've made, you know, a lot of skits. They've done interviews. They've, you know, they've talked to. They they're very close with Post Malone. They're they've been on tour. I mean, for those who don't know the Tiny Meat Gang. I mean, TMG is gigantic. Cody's gigantic. Noel's gigantic. I mean, it, it Cody Co is a huge YouTube channel. I mean, pretty much anyone who's been on YouTube for any significant period of time, or anyone who's my age or around my age, knows knows who Cody Co is, and they know who Tana Mongu is. Uh, for those who don't know, Tana Mongu is also kind of a YouTuber slash influencer. Uh, she was a girl that married Jake Paul for a uh, cup of coffee. And she's, you know, famous, also has an OnlyFans, also is kind of in the Instagram model-esque kind of influencer tier of woman. People know who Tana is. Well, Tana went on to Trisha Paytas' podcast, which, I mean, oh, Trisha Paytas is another one that's just, I mean, th th these fucking people are crazy, man. These content creators are nuts. I don't understand. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm skipping ahead a little bit, actually. Uh, on May 30th, the she was at... Let me see. At a, a canceled show in Sacramento... Audience member asked Tana questions while she was in the hot seat when one fan asked about the smallest dick she ever had sex with. She replied, oh my god, no one look at me, Cody Ko. I can say that. I was literally 17. So, obviously, that kind of blew up because the idea that uh, she slept with Cody when she was 17 was interesting because uh, Cody Ko didn't meet Tana among you until he was in his mid-20s. Ooh, daddy. <laughs> she obviously received a lot of hate from people online um, because they didn't believe her, which I'm going to be honest here. I, I, I am a firm believe women. I'm firm believe victims. That's a fair response because Tana's got a bit of a history of not being the most reliable person in the world. So it's it's kind of fair for people to when she makes a claim like this to kind of assume that either a she's just outright being false or b kind of you know maybe not telling the whole truth type thing again and, and again in most situations this is a terrible response that she said as much when she went on because uh, this is when she goes on trisha's podcast after this kind of blows up <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,